Module 5, ARMA Modeling. In this module, we will demonstrate using NumExcel to model an ARMA process. For our example, we will be using the same Spider monthly log returns as in Module 2. Let's start by switching to the NumExcel toolbar. Select a cell where you wish the output to start, and click on the ARMA icon. The ARMA dialog box will pop up on the screen. In the data section, select the range of cells of the sample data. We need to specify how the data has been chronologically ordered. Since our sample data is sorted so that the oldest entries are at the top, we will leave the ascending option checked. Under Options, the Guess Parameters option instructs NumExcel to compute quick but valid initial values for the model's parameters. Let's select this option. The Goodness of Fit option instructs NumExcel to output several functions for measuring the statistical fit of the sample data with model, such as LLF, also known as Log Likelihood function, in AIC. The Residuals Diagnosis option will be covered in details in Module 7, so let's skip this one. In the output range, the current active cell will be shown by default. We will leave this value unchanged. Now we are done with the ARMA form, so let's press OK to create the model. The ARMA form generated three tables, models parameters on the left, goodness of fit in the center, and the residuals diagnosis on the right. Let's take a closer look at the output. We'll start with the model's parameters. The AR component is represented by fees coefficients. The number of fees equal to the AR order plus 1. For the MA component, it is specified by theta's coefficients which number equals to MA order of the ARMA model. Please note, the ARMA form initialized the model's parameters with quick values that are valid, but not optimal. We'd need to calibrate the parameters against the sample before we can use this model. Next, take a closer look at the goodness of fit output. LLF, also known as the log likelihood function, which computes the probability measure of the sample data against the ARMA model. For a better fit, we want the LLF value to be high as possible. AIC, aka a cake information criterion, this is another probabilistic measure of the fit but with a penalty for higher order models, and adjusted for sample data size. For a good fit, we want to see this value as small as possible. Finally, the models check. This function examines the stability of the model with the given parameters. It returns 1 for a stable model, and 0 otherwise. This function is important during the calibration process. This concludes Module 5. If you have any questions, concerns or feedback please call our toll-free number at 1-888-8427-9486 or email us at support at spiderfinancial.com. We look forward to working with you.